Hi, my name is Tammy and I am the founder of Quilt Savvy. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make the turn style quilt block using the AccuQuilt Go Me cutting system. So the supplies you'll need are your pattern. You'll need for this pattern, three color, three different colors of fabrics. I am using Moda Grunge and I'm using this for my background color. And I have two somewhat contrasting colors, a red and a green. Now, in order to make this block, one block, I'll need four pieces of each color. So four of the reds, I'm using white instead of pink. So I'll need four of those. And then instead of the um, orange, I'm using green. So let's cut those out now. So for this die, which is die number three, it only has two pieces that are cut per pass. And so because I am using, uh, let's just do red. Because I'm gonna use red um, for this piece, which is, well, actually, no. <laughs> Let's use green. I think that's what I picked out. So since I'm using uh, the green, which equates to this piece of the block right here, I'll need four of them. So one, two, three, four. And so since this die only cuts two pieces per pass, I'm going to lay the fabric down and fan fold it. Now my fabrics have already been pre-cut and pre-starched. And essentially I just kind of rough cut it just a strip so that it gives me about, about a half an inch or a quarter of an inch on either side so that, um, I can just cut the fabric easier instead of using yardage. So let's cut these out now. So what you do is, um, I try to remember to put the label towards my belly and cut it lengthwise grain, but since I've already pre-starched this fabric, I'm not quite sure how much stretch or bias is left because I actually heavily starched it. So I'm just going to place the fabric down on the mat. Let me move my pattern out of the way. I am just going to uh, place the fabric down the mat based on how it fits covering the dark uh, part of the mat. So AccuQuilt dies, they're two-toned. And so the blades are actually here inside the mat. And so if I press down, it's a little sharp. I don't want to cut my finger. So what you do is you just basically take this and cover It's a little bit over where I think it is. I'm going to put it on the table so that I can work with it better. So here. And then let's see, you can see here that it's covering to the light part. And then I'm going to, let's call it fan fold. So I'm just going to flip this over and ooh, scoot it back there and place the mat because without a mat, nothing happens. So let me move these other fabrics out of the way, move the other dot out of the way. Okay. So this is the AccuQuilt Go Me. And what you do is you just basically like, fold it open and I'm going to turn it this way because I am left-handed <laughs> just put the die with the fabric in the mat let's see move this out of the way so you guys can see that's better so you just place it here and push it in so this one I'm used to the AccuQuilt go big so this one you kind of have to push this area just a little bit to get it going see how when I press it the handle moves to create some tension. So you just press it and then grab this and then turn. And it's literally that easy. Comes out the other side as such like this. And remember, get the static off, remove it. And then I normally just cut off the extra fabric here and then boom, have four pieces. One, two, ah, 
three, and four. Done, okay? Now we need to cut, um, where's my pattern? Now that we've cut this part, so we cut four of those, now we move to the other die, which is die number four. And die number four is what we're gonna be using to cut these pieces here. So since die number four, when you cut it with one pass, it already has four, I only need to put one layer of fabric down. So here we go. We're going to use the red. And this one, again, has been pre-cut and pre-starched. So you just cover, make sure that the lighter gray area is covered. It's not. <laughs> there we go. And then just place the mat on top. Make sure it's even. Okay. As such, little sandwich. Then you just give this a little tension to get it going, to get it to kind of notch in there. And then turn the handle, comes out the other side. And then voila, just cut. Rub here to remove any static. Slide, don't lift, take the mat off. I just cut these little extra pieces here off the fabric. Throw that on the floor. <laughs> and then here we have it. Four, one, oh, sometimes there's a little string and either you cut it or pull it apart, but one, two, three, four. So we have four of our reds. And now we need to cut essentially the white, which I'm using as a background, which are the pink. So cut four of those. So here we go. Again, we're using die number four, and these dies came with the Go Me. These are the two dies that came with the system, or the cutting, the cutter, sorry. And um, we go here, we put it on top like that, make sure it's covering, covering the lighter gray area. You take this mat, you make a sandwich. Again, push it in, see how, notice how it's kind of Moving the handle, you want to make sure it's centered. Moving the handle a little give you some tension to get it going. Once you do that, you just grab it and then put your hand there if it's not stable and then roll it through. Comes out the other side like that, such. Take the mat off, cut this extra fabric here and here, and now you have four cut pieces of the background. So one, two, three, and four. All right, so the next segment will be me at Santiago the Peacemaker, and I will be showing you how I sew these pieces together to complete the block.